We're here today with Mark Thompson, Managing Director of Telga Resources. Mark, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. You've announced the test results from your own branded epoxy resin. How have they fared? Excellent results from our first tests of our graphene in, in epoxy resin. Um, epoxies are a big market. They're also the last of our four sort of target sectors after batteries and uh, concrete and then other paints and coatings. And what is an epoxy resin and how big is the market? Epoxy resins are uh, a type of polymer. Uh, in this case, they're, they're two packs, so they're like a soft resin. And then there's a second bit, which is the hardener, which cures it. So you, you put them together and then they go from a solution into a solid. And they're used for paint, a lot of paint and coatings uh, use them. In fact, there's about $7 billion worth of epoxies in paints each year um, as part of an overall market that uh, runs about 2.5 million to 3 million tonnes per year. Um, epoxy resins, which are also used for adhesives and um, what you would call carbon fibre, like in your golf clubs or in the plane wings or in the car bodies, um, that's actually a carbon fibre reinforced plastic and that's an epoxy. It actually looks like uh, this, this is actually our graphene enhanced uh, epoxy resin as a solid and so to test that you would then sort of pull it to stretch it and in our case we've nearly doubled the strength of that and we've doubled the, the toughness of, of impacting it, and we're doing further work on the properties of that material. But uh, right now, the graphene working in that is, is going uh, fantastic, fantastically well at this stage where we're yet to optimise it fully. What was involved in the test work, and how important is that initial test work? So the, the, test, the testing is, we, make, we actually made a graphene formula, so we didn't just add graphene to it. We actually functionalised, which means we chemically modified the graphene in a special way so that it could, uh, hang, it could actually sort of fit or hang on to the epoxy um, chemistry and disperse properly. And the way we disperse it is quite different to any other technology we've seen. So it's unique, uh, the, the intellectual property in that we've applied for a patent over. So that's really one of the biggest things coming out of this, this performance. Um, now we will move on to uh, testing it further. The testing process is one of, um, for example, putting it in a salt spray or immersing the coating in salt water to, in, to, to make it corrode, and then you measure it. You apply electrical currents to it to also measure corrosion. Um, and you physically pull it apart, and you actually measure the, uh, on various machines in the lab to measure that. So we'll now scale that up, scale those tests up, do it with independent bodies, and then we take it to the customers. The, exactly the same uh, process or strategy that we've been using for the commercialisation of graphene in the other sectors, like the batteries and the, um, the paints and coatings and the concrete. Um, in this case, the epoxy resin is very closely related between the resin for the, for the uh, plastics, like carbon fibres. It's, it's very closely related to what we use in the coatings. So um, marine coatings is a big use for this sort of stuff. Steel coatings, most of them are made from epoxies, and so that's where we're sort of targeting first, and the harder sort of carbon fibre resins would, would follow. So looking forward to 2018, mm. what are some of the milestones that will drive the business? Uh, the biggest ones are that people really want to hang out for more commercial deals, so other companies in each of these sectors, so there's a greater variety of them and larger ones. They want to see more commercial deals where sales actually um, pick up, although in some ways we're not really geared for, for retail, but still we will try and continue to generate revenue, scaling up the, the process plant and the um, establishment of some new opportunities uh, there will be important. Um, so yeah, the, the main milestones will be around people being more able to value the company through the publication of enough data that, uh, that they can do that more accurately. Um, but certainly it'll just be the commercialisation process maturing. You know, we've got a good bite out of it, started around mid-17. By 18, I think it should start hitting its straps. So a big foundation built and a big year ahead. Mark, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Pleasure.